afternoon and welcome back to the channel. And welcome oh. to a... Oh, what? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, sorry about that, it'll be one second. Gary's just getting a bite here. Oh, yep, saw that. Oh, it's not on. Oh. It's not on? No. Nah. Oh, typical. <sighs> Just as we're about to say hello there. As you can probably tell, you might be able to see from any moving part, it's absolutely blowing a gale. It must be gusting over 40. You lose your sinker. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well. Well, before rudely interrupted <laughs> yeah, so by Never whatever mind. that was. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a very blustery and wild Northumberland. Yep. It's, what are we, about an hour and a half before low water. We're just, we've probably got every single ingredient to make the session as challenging as it possibly could be, haven't we? Yeah, that wind is particularly challenging and it's cold as well. Um, I'm having to hold the rod, I've had the rod and the tripod and it's just the wind combined with the surge of the seas just pulling it over all the time, so I'm having to hold the rod all the time. But yeah, yeah but there's a nice sea on, you never know, tides are small though, very yeah. small, but hopefully we're going to, well we will lose the light in about an hour, um, then we'll see what happens from there I think, yeah. yeah absolutely, yeah. yeah, we've got, as Gary says, we've got about an hour before it's dark, that, that should coincide with low water, so we're hoping darkness a little bit of flood it's about a 1.85 ebb i think yeah, it is small very small so time. it is it is not a great tide we're at the very back end of the season as well so we're just looking yeah. not to blank basically. yeah that's the idea that's yeah. that's the idea but we've had a couple of rattles we're just going to keep persevering we've got squid and cod bit of bluey pulley rigs and just yeah keep throwing them out absolutely there. yeah right well hopefully we'll come back to you with a fish So today is an exciting day for me because it's only been nearly four years in the make and I was previously the owner of a Comp SS. I got it during Covid, this was, well, just as Covid kicked off before the world went mental with prices, not just for fishing gear but generally. And I got it for 230 quid, I mean, I, there's probably the odd one kicking around for that price in poorer condition. but. Foolishly sold it for a different rod that just wasn't for me. Anyway, saw that there was a blank for sale. Very good condition, got it nicely built up. Brand new whippings on it. Just had a few casts. And I'm really enjoying being back out on the Comp SS, so. It's a lot more, to be honest, compared to me Zippy. I was just saying to Gary, me HST Evo, which is a bit of a custom one, it's a bit stiffer. It's, it's, if anything, it might even be a little bit more user friendly, but it's very, very, very similar, identical length, 1310. So I'm hoping tonight I can pull something in on it and just been reading one in the comments on YouTube and somebody said to Gary, it must be nice having a ghillie with you, so fair play, very accurate, but hopefully tonight I can uh, assume a different position other than ghillie, but we'll see. As Gary mentioned before, we have got a little bit of sea on here, there's probably a couple of foot, there's loads of colour in the water, but we've got a howling, howling southwesterly, and it's it's slowly moving south southwest, and then by about 10, 11 o'clock it's going to be straight suddenly, so it's it's already cutting across from right to left, but soon, especially if it picks up, it's going to be coming straight across, and it is going to make life difficult, so we're just going to have to do what we can today to hopefully bring you some light entertainment for 15 or 20 minutes. Hopefully we're going to introduce a third party with fins and gills, but we'll see. Right, so bait wise today, some nice bits of cart. These are unsalted. Gary's salted seems to be doing the trick recently, but we'll see. I'm using small, smallish baits and the reason being because we've got such a crosswind, I'm just trying to give myself as best chance as possible of maximizing distance so I'm trying to keep everything quite <coughs> quite streamlined 
I don't know if you can see some stuff blowing around here, but it's so it's the windiest I've fished in for a long, long time. So I'm just pushing that in. Uh, that's probably slightly too defrosted, but never mind. Binding that on. So I'm just wrapping that a little bit of bluey. That that's actually the head section, believe it or not. Just butterfly that. Obviously loads of blood in the gills and the brains. I'm just wrap, wrapping that round the softer part of the cart. Just like that. And because it's obviously the outer skull and head of the bluey, you can you can really go to town on your elastic in terms of how how tight you you want to bind it on. What I do do though, because I'm using a much tougher part of the bluey, ordinarily Oh, oh, oh. Gary's getting a bite. <laughs> no, no, no. Right. Oh, hopefully, I can get, <laughs> hopefully I can get this camera pointing up before. You got him? Yeah. Yes. Looks doesn't look a bad fish that. Well done. It's a fish though, that's what we're after. That's all we're after. <laughs> oh, and there we have it. A little codlin. Ah, it's windy. Well, I've just got him nicked through the side of his cheek there out and there you have it so yeah really pleased with that give a good little bite and the thing is when you're fishing a kelp like this and you're first pulling them through the kelp it you just don't know how big it is because you're dragging them through the kelp and it felt quite decent i thought oh i'm in a fish and then when you get it out the kelp you're all right okay <laughs> it's not as big as what we thought but pleased with that it's a fish so hopefully there's more better size than that out there today so get this one straight back champion so what I was saying there before Gary's fish rudely interrupted us when I'm using the tough part of bluey all I'll do is wrap the elastic around twice put it back through and then it just creates a knot because obviously if it's the end of it's on that harder bit there it'll slip off but if you put that little knot in it'll, <coughs> it'll just help it stay in place and all I'm doing Four over Viking, one, two, three. Push that in through the through the bluey bluey. Pull that tight. There we go. Let's get that sand out and hope you get a fish. <coughs> right, this one's been in about half an hour. I haven't had anything, just losing the light. Didn't even feel any resistance there. I don't know if there's a bit of softer ground out there or what. Based on the way this feels, I think the bait's in pretty much the same condition as it was when it went out. <coughs> Been toying recently with the idea of buying a much heavier duty reel for the rocks, and I probably still will, but what I would say, this, uh, what's going on there? Oh no, it's clipped underneath. But I would say this XSD Aero Technium it's a little bit bigger and a little bit and feels a little bit sturdier than let's just put that light on hopefully you can see that and it is a little bit sturdier than the XSC so so far although I'm not particularly keen on using these for the heaviest of ground it does do the trick and obviously the line lay is second and on so we'll see we'll see how it goes right we're gonna this next get this next one out hopefully connect with something fire this next one out we seem to be going through a little bit of a spell right now shouldn't say it because i know what'll happen but where the wind's 
back off a wee bit. Losing the light now, it's about five. Just need to catch something, don't I? It's starting to get rather embarrassing. <coughs> yeah, just go through quickly what I'm doing here, bait wise. So, really, it's just a basic pulley rig, it's the rig I use for most of my fishing, really. Um, obviously, on the business end, 6 0 hook, and then the top panel, I've got a 6 0. Um, circle hook a very fine wired circle hook so hopefully i can pull it out so as i've done so i've got a half a cart wing i'm just going to bound that up loosely not too tight because i don't want to crush it all bind that up just get a bit of elastic over that just to hold it in where it needs to be and then i'm just going to get a wing over the top of it sorry a wing <laughs> uh, a squid over the top Hold that in place, get that going. Plenty elastic, and then just work my way down. I'm gonna put the head on, just stick the head on, just build it up a bit more, just add a bit of body to it. The idea tonight, because we're coming to the end of the season, I'm gonna fish quite biggish baits, biggish hooks, because I'm, I'm really wanting to look for just that one big fish. It's the time of year. I've never had one this season. Never had anything over five. Plenty in the four and the three, but nothing much. Well, nothing in the five. So if I get one in the five tonight, I'd be really, really pleased. So big baits, big hooks. Hopefully we'll connect with one. So all I'm gonna do, got the top there. Just one, two, three. Through back through the squid into the top. Pull that nice and tight, and there we'll have it. Hopefully, out there, there's a big, fat, hungry cod once that. That's the plan. Well, I hope you can see this. <coughs> We've got the winds just picked back up quite strong. It's probably about 35 now. It's a bit of southwesterly, but because of where we're fishing, it is cutting across and just pushing a little bit of sea into this hole that we're fishing. So we're hoping there's something a bit bigger as it gets dark. As you can see, there's loads of colour in the water. So fingers crossed, we can pull something else out. Gary's into another fish here. Oh, has it come off? Oh, is this? Oh, no, that's it. Another small spent fish, aren't they? Yeah. Yep, so. Another little cod in there. It's obviously quite, it's a small fish. It's nicely hooked, man, you're straight through the bottom lip. So I'm happy here you go back, no bother. But there you have them, a little coddling. Really, really need something bigger than that. <laughs> yep. Well, fish is a fish, man. It is. Let's get him back. There we go. And he's away. Well, you might be able to see the tide is starting to push because we're only on quite a flat area of rock here so I think we might get one more cast then we'll have to get off and find somewhere a little bit higher 
Right, well, I've come to the second stroke, third and final place. I think we're just going to let the tide come in for a, hopefully a couple hours and with a bit of luck push another fish or two in. We're a bit higher up now, so we'll just crack on here and hope we can pick something up. I was just getting a knock here. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good sign though. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Hopefully it comes back. Next. Oh, yep, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Nah. We are about two and a half hours before high water. And to be honest, it's, it's been hard work, hasn't yeah. it? Losing the will to live. Uh, um, it's... Yeah, it's not a lot happening here at all. Nah. So I think this is going to be last cast and I think we're going to get ourselves away, yeah? Aye, definitely. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, the wind's just swung almost due south, southeast, yeah. so it's kind of in my face almost, yeah. isn't it? It's yes. making casting harder. There's a lot of weed turned up, and <laughs> as Gary's just said, you can only flog a dead horse for so long. <laughs> so, we'll have these casts, and then we'll come back to you if we do get anything. Just as I was saying that, I've got a load, load of slack line. Oh, f just snapped off. It must have been me gear getting just snapped what felt like right at me feet. Oh, oh I think I've lost a fair bit there, like fair bit of line. Uh, oh, God. Well, brings us to the other, what, to the other, <laughs> to the end of another. Yep. Get me words out. Yep. Session on the Northumberland coast. It's getting. It's going to be one of the final few, I think. It's getting late in the season now. We're almost into February. I think other than the odd straggler, there's not going to be a great deal left, is there? No. Um, I mean, I thought we might have got something a little bit better out tonight. Here's a nice sea on the tides a bit. Well, it is poor tide, but yeah, it's it's been pretty barren really hasn't it so it has and we've given it our best shot we've fished for probably eight hours straight we've grinned and bared the wind to be fair you came up trumps with something for the camera yet again <laughs> just two small coddling and you know it's I caught them really just at the end of, as it was coming into dusk and I honestly thought when the light dropped fully and we got in uh, you know total darkness that we might have got something else but it just hasn't been hasn't been at all so nah no, nah, not it at all. Not at all. But we we're hoping that there might have been a lot more westerly in the wind, just just to give a bit of distance for casting. But it's come straight southerly, and it's it's an absolute nightmare. Yeah. There's a bit of weed in the water as well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yes. We're picking up weed. It's picking on the line. It's just dragging the rods over. It's 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 not very pleasant. At it's all. not. It's <laughs> it's not. It's not. And I think we're both we're both at the point now where bed or take away or just yeah. generally not being here is beginning to beckon isn't it it so. is it is i've got a lot of san miguel in the fridge and that's all that's on my mind right now so <laughs> <laughs> but i think for me this this cold that i've had is getting the better of us so it's a cup of tea in bed i'm afraid for me but anyway hopefully well thankfully gary yet again has come up with the goods and produced a couple of fish for the camera I've uh, played played Gilly again and Observer, <laughs> so but it's been it's been good crack. I've enjoyed it. So <laughs> as always, thanks for watching. Hope you've been out getting a few tight lines. Keep fishing. We'll see you soon. See Cheers. You.